Hi, my name is Dan Graverson, and in this video I'll show you how you can set up a membership area in Optimize Press. So I'm from appmembersite.com and there we have a lot of free videos about how you set up your membership site and everything around that. So go to appmembersite.com forward slash free and get more of these uh, free videos about setting up membership sites. So before we get started, make sure you have hosting, make sure you have installed WordPress, make sure you have installed Optimized Press. If not, you have if not uh, if you have found Optimized Press, you can use this uh, link and I'll get an affiliate commission. And I really appreciate that to make sure I can make these uh, free videos for you. So let's get that started. If I find the right window. There we have it. So the first thing is uh, in the wishlist member. Well, Optimized Press, we're still in that one. There, I just want to, to reuse the same URL. So I go to this, the same header. So I go to this header and I will upload a new background image. It's a better way to, to put it in, in here than you can see what kind of image it is. Membership height, header height, I think that's 150. If we want an special login image, we can put that in here. Login page and show comments that on module pages. We don't want that. Um, so that's it <coughs> for for the general pages. Uh, well, now it seems to be up done. And next up is we can go into pages. See if we have any pages here. I installed a uh, wishlist also, and that gave a lot of uh, properties for it. I'll just see if this uh, dashboard is something. It's it. This is a page that has been created by the uh, by uh, wishlist member uh, as a part of uh, the default uh, path. Um, so we'll just be reusing this page as the starting point for the membership area and here we'll just say uh, this should be the membership home Do -do. and then we, we have the membership area here we have some general options here show header one that one on and that's probably it uh, if we want comments on this page, but probably not. So we'll just say update, uh, publish. And if we say view page, we will see the welcome to, to it on a lot of different pages here. So we need to make sure that we create a menu for this uh, course. Uh, so let's go to the menu section and create a new uh, create menu membership menu created and then we got uh, an area we can say which item should be uh, linked to this one so i want to add this one <coughs> To the menu and then save it again obviously we need to add some more pages here uh, let's create a new page uh, main course 
main area. And that's also um, membership home. The, the difference between these is what kind of content you got below them. So here it's, it has selected that one. So publish it. And maybe view it. And so here we can see the the menu here has not been updated with with this area yet, but that will just be going to the menu section. And then add add to menu and save, and then it should be there. So the next is I want to add uh, module one. And here we will say that this is uh, members one module and check the setting down here it says still logo so that's okay we publish this one and we can go view the page again so now we have the main area here and below this ah we need to to make sure that this one is indented or in under has the main uh, main area as the parent otherwise it doesn't know really how the the pages fit together so now we have the main area here we have the welcome to the course and we can see we have the list of modules out here and then let's create a content page add new page topic topic uh, some topic and that will just be a, a general page and Obviously, if we had a video, we'll put it here using the, the video uh, area, which works just the way everyone else, the uh, every other area. Probably one set out to play and I'll probably add this one so the members can scroll back and forward in and uh, that doesn't make a lot of difference for the members. Uh, and we just have to remember to put this one under module one. Uh, so if we view the pages now, oh, it's even here. So now it says it's probably missing a video. And if we click this, uh, well, go to the main area. We can see we have module one. And under module one, we do have uh, the, the, this topic that we just uh, created and here we do have uh, we should have had the video so that was uh, a bit about what we need here um, to, to make sure that it works and let me just go to the topic one so whenever I'm going to add new pages, I'll just go to, to this page for, for whatever level I'm at. And then I'll say uh, copy to, to new draft. Uh, because then I have all the setting and it's the right uh, type. Uh,
and then change the topic, uh, change the, the subject, delete this one, and make sure it's under the, the right one and get the content, and then just say publish. And module one. And now we have two different areas here. If you want to, to make sure we, we use the right sorting order, we can put three. Uh, the, the sorting order would make sure that page that has number zero would be on top. Uh, and then it will just increase. So number three would be the last one. Here, let's see if that will make the subject as the last page here. And it does. So that would be a way you can control how these uh, pages is ordered, even though you will, won't have to, to put specific area of topics inside them. Um, I hope this has been helpful. And if you want for more free videos about setting up membership sites, go to appmembersite.com forward slash free and make sure you sign up uh, and get a lot of more videos around the topics. Thanks.